Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. And I I don't even have like a witty something or other to, to lead into it. Um it's William Regal. We finally got him. Um if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of the man. Um, not just for war games, but the technician that he was in the ring, the the persona he had, um, the real man's man. Like, I am a huge William Regal fan. So this is an absolute honor and a privilege to be able to preview him. Um, Regal, if you're listening. Hi, I love you. Um, he's totally not listening. Uh, but we finally have him in the game. He is a focused reality era showboat. Um, so we are continuing to beef up the reality era things you love to see. Trainer ability. He completes the rainbow of submission damage and MP trainers. He is green at 26k. Green moves start with two more move points. Green submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. Lynx and I love this. Um, you may recall GM of NXT. So they give him the NXT link. Any color moves start with one more move point. Things you love to see. Um, reality era matching any color gems. Charge moves of that color by one more move point. Just the standard set of gear. Would not hate getting an NXT GM suit gear. Not that he needs gear. This card is very strong all around as you will see shortly. We're going to start with a build that's available um, at 2 star. And it is a move damage focus. Finisher, the Regal Knee, 10 MP. Deal 559,149 damage. And choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into purple gems. Yellow 2, Power of the Punch, 7 MP. Deal 478,157 damage. And force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. And Tiger Bomb, purple one, 6 MP, deal 181,646 damage, and choose 7 gems to make into yellow gems. We are treating this as a high move damage stun lock. Woods for purple MP, uh, Trickster Ozka for plus 2 yellow MP, and we only have her at 65%. She does go up to 100, so if you have her at 26k, you will get more out of that. K quick, again, 26K will give you 50%. As it stands, we have met 40. I don't have Hall of Fame Rick Rude, so I'm using Gooker to supplement the 25%. But before the belt, we have the finisher hitting 1.28. We have the stun hitting 908K. Bringing in the belt, we are doing um, a set of takedowns. This is the 200%, and then a set of takedown twos. So 40% all move damage from the takedown twos, 15 from the regular takedowns. We are using an ultimate. This is a uh, this is a new preview strap. 30% gem damage and uh, side plate capabilities foreshadowing. Stay tuned. Um, for this build, we're going to be using the It's Time once again. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. This is going to help you recycle. Um, the yellows on the finisher, so when you lay out your yellow gems with the Tiger Bomb, you don't need to do a whole bunch of fancy stuff. But we're still going to go ahead and stack a bunch of stuns. Uh, how much health does Mr. Bradshaw have here? 16 mil. Perfect. Also, thank you, Scopely, for the new road tours. This is a blessing. I have more than one person to preview against, so thank you. 16 million health. Let's see what we can cook up. Oh, he does the wiping his feet getting into the... Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so happy this character exists. Um, okay. So, we're starting with five... I have plus two on my, uh, tour perks. I have... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, let me show you... Uh, plus two starting MP, plus one on a match, 15% more health. Um, that's from Feud. Sorry, our Feud good. Um, da, 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 da. yeah, that's it. So we have five. So we're going to make a three match. 
And then we're going to make a five match that we choose into in a better location. In a better location. It's my first day. L listen, it's my first day. I wanted to avoid that. Anyways, power of the punch. That's like two mil. That worked out because we'll have everything loaded up and we can just we can just try again. Power of the punch and uh, the regal knee. Let's just go ahead and hit this. So critical three point two. He's apparently not kicking out. We took 9 mil with the moves and didn't even get to stack the stun because we cascaded. Uh, but that's how high the move damage is. So a lot of potential there. I don't have Mutant Finn. I think I would still use Asuka over him just to help with the MP at the start. As you can see, we cascaded. So... Having Ozka, pardon me, having Ozka for the plus two MP means you can do the three match and then get the stun loaded that way. Um, I don't have a 200% takedown two medal, but that would add 25% um, from a set bonus there. But that is the only move damage build we are going to take a look at. This gentleman and a scholar and villain um, has plenty of gem damage builds. So let's go take a look at those. All right, so now we are switching to gem damage focus. And my apologies, I had my wires crossed. The tiger bomb is actually the four star move. So the last build, you can't do it at two star. Not that people do build at two star, but y'all know what I'm like. I like to just go by rarity. Anyways, uh, the tiger bomb is in fact the four star move. We are going to run double green. Uh, the regal stretch, six MP submission, generate 36 random submission gems and do 198,826 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. I'm not boring. Don't worry. Um, remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength five. And the regal plex, six MP, deal 191,542 damage. And choose four gems to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into yellow gems when broken by you. So hit the sub and then place your pyros and then use the tiger bomb to break the pyros. But Goldie, how do you recycle? Well, for one, we're going to be doing enough damage that we don't need to. And for two, uh, there is a six star build that will recycle. So have no fear. Steel for green, woods for purple. Brawn for yellow, Taker for yellow. Switching to the Fury 2s, so all sorts of gem damage here. And the Rhonda's Jacket Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. So this obviously, like these numbers take into account the effects from the plate. So it's really 173 and 150. Um, and then we get the extra 100 from the Ronda plate. So everything is ready to go. 6 MP, 6 MP, 6 MP. Go ahead and hit the Regal stretch. Yeah, that's the sub takedown I like. Also, if you, if you are not aware, his son wrestles in NXT by the name Charlie Dempsey. And you see a lot. Um, of, I guess, like, influence would be the word, maybe? Influence from his father um, in his technical wrestling. So if you have not been watching NXT lately, please go take a look at Charlie Dempsey. If you are a Regal fan like I am, you'll be like, hey, I know that guy because he's exactly like his dad. Hey, I'll be damned. I said I didn't need to recycle, and then he made me recycle. Not mad. Not mad. Um, two, three. Nope. That's what I get for talking poop like a commoner. Um, okay. Um, 
Well, at least their yellow gems are nice and strong. There we go. When in doubt, just swipe randomly. That's a five, that's a four. I'm just gonna take a swipe here and then everything's ready for the next turn. My bad. All right, do over. That's the good thing about the moves being 6 MP, though. It's not like you're trying to get back to a 15 MP powerhouse finisher. So, even though we got stuck, it's not nearly as bad as it could have been. And then go ahead and cover up all your multiply gems. There we go. Nine mil. That's the outcome I was looking for. All right, that's one gem damage build. Let's go set up a second. Next build that we're going to take a look at is double purple with the finisher, bringing back the regal knee, um, choosing a three by seven to swap into purple. Bringing in the regal cutter, six MP, deal 191,542 damage. And choose three gems to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into multiply gems of strength seven when broken by you. And bringing back the tiger bomb to choose yellow. This is a purple gem damage focus. Uh, Woods for purple MP. Trick razor. Hey, yo. Um, I don't have him worked up yet, uh, but he would do 12,050. Um, same for Masters of the Universe of Rey Mysterio. He would do 12,000. Um, and bringing in Showboat Miz for 15% on the multiplied gems. Straightforward. It makes a three, like three gems. It gives you a three by seven area. So, well, I guess three by six, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, sticking with the Fury Belt, bringing in the superior tech plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven red into yellow at the end of your turn. Uh, that should hopefully help us charge the finisher a little bit so we don't have to do a bunch of tricky stuff to get it loaded there is major cascade risk here so disclaimer okay regal cutter I'm choosing three to convert into pyro um i personally like going in the middle because you get more of the board, but the cascade risk is insane. Could always go there, except we have to do a four match and that's not going to work. You know what? No balls. I know that's not very ladylike, but... <whistles> Skill. All right. So our, our yellow gems are still doing more damage than our purples. Um, purple is his second strongest, so we were at least able to get it over to be his... I'm uh, sorry, purples are his third strongest, naturally. We were at least able to make them the second strongest with this build. But as you can see, everything drops down nice. Regal knee. Cover up all of your multiply gems. Hopefully we get some recycling here. Excellent. So you still need to place the yellow gems to break the pyros, but that makes it so we only need to put out three gems instead of trying to do a bunch of, you know, fancy whatnot to get everything loaded. So this one, we're just going to go over here. Only need to place the three. Knew that was gonna happen. Oh wow, we didn't pin though, okay. Bless up. Bless up. Cover up your multiply gems. Superior tech plate triggers. It's about 4.7, so it's still fairly strong. 
Um, not nearly the same as going on his primary color, though. Like, even though these are time sevens, as opposed to the times fives from the sub, sub is still stronger because you're doing primary color. So one more rotation should do it. This is where we cascade into oblivion. Or not. Get out of here, you commoner. Commoner! Alright, so, so just shy of 5 mil fairly consistently. Again, not my favorite, but that's, I mean, that's to me, that's how the finisher is designed to be run. But let's go take a look at something else. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at five star. It is triple yellow. So the regal knee, the power of the punch, and the six MP dragon suplex. Deal 214,180 damage and choose one gem to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your yellow MP by 10 on every countdown turn and modify a three by seven random area into multiply gems of strength five at the end of the countdown. So for this, you could do purple gem or yellow move damage. I'm just sticking with the purple gem because that's what I had set up from the last one. Razor for the flat, Kofi for the MP, Mochi Ray for the flat, and Miz for the multiply. Same belt, superior tech plate, and this should basically be a very straightforward uh, stun lock. So power of the punch, get them stunned right away so you can lay out your juggernaut gem. I try to keep them on the outsides. So there's your 10 yellow MP. We didn't need to take the yellow match, but it was there. And then by doing this, we should be able to control where they put the multiply gems. I'm going to go ahead and hit the finisher because everything's going to recycle. So bonus damage here. And then just repeat. Now that we have the multiplied gems out, we can cover them up with the purple gems from the finisher. That was unfortunate because the Juggernaut gem disappeared. That's fine. We'll just play to the one side then. I prefer the middle because you can catch strays on the outside. Get them a little more damage, but... Not the end of the world, especially when they're stun locked. So, 3.7. And you have the superior tech plate there in case you get dodged or submitted or something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, that'll help you refill your yellows. Let's go take a look at the six star build. So the last build we're going to take a look at for this preview is the six star build, which is triple green, bringing in the submission, bringing in the regal plex. And bringing in Dirty Boots, 6 MP, deal 187,291 damage and choose a 7x1 area to swap into green gems. So this is self-recycling. Steal for green MP and then we're going full yellow gem damage. 45% uh, from Cena, a flat 12,000 from Taker. 25% from Bronze. So we have that up to 38 thousand before the belt belt is going to add 173 um, again the extra 100 percent is from the ronda's jacket plate which is going to increase our yellow gem damage after a submission so let's see how this rolls 
Let's put out the sub. Now, if there was a row that didn't have any multiply gems, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we don't have the room. Um, I would say just um, try to double stack, but don't have that option. So put your pyros under where the most multiply gems are. Uh, yellow gems doing 74k, multiply doing 373. Bottom row, trigger your pyros. 8.7 mil. Definitely some ways to finesse that as well. But you're going to have to watch the run it back. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at William Regal Blue Blood again. Another reality era male uh, focused showboat trainer ability 26k. Green moves start with two more move points. Green submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. He gets an NXT link. You love to see it. Reality era matching any color gems charge moves of that color by one more move point. And stay tuned for the right back as I yawn because we have um, a certain plate that is going to make this damage absolutely insane. I wanted to do separate previews of it though so we could get a sense of how we would hit with and without it. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to come back for the run it back when we put the Piper's plate on him. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.